What if I told you that you don't need fancy lighting equipment to capture stunning food and product photos? It might sound too good to be true, but stick around because I'm about to show you how it's done. Hi! If you're new here, my name is Rose. I am a creative entrepreneur who loves photography and loves sharing what I know from years of photographing food and products for these amazing local businesses. The key to creating beautiful lighting for your photos lies in understanding the different qualities of light. You see, professional photographers don't rely solely on expensive equipment to capture those captivating shots. Instead, they master the art of manipulating light to achieve their desired effect. So, what exactly do I mean by this? When you're taking food or product photos, you have the power to create different moods and tell different stories simply by playing with the lighting. And the best part, you can do this by understanding just a few key properties of light. Now, let me break it down for you by sharing three essential properties of light that you can learn and apply in your next photo shoot. Let's start with light quality and its impact on food and product photography, specifically focusing on the distinction between hard and soft light. First, let's define these terms. Hard light refers to direct sunlight hitting your subject typically on a sunny day without any obstructions. In contrast, soft light occurs when the sunlight is diffused or scattered, often by clouds or other objects, resulting in a more gentle illumination. Hard light is characterized by its punchy, dramatic effect and high contrast. It accentuates textures, creates strong shadows, and adds dimension to your images. Utilizing hard light can infuse your photographs with energy and draw the viewer's attention by introducing unexpected visual elements. For example, I used hard light to enhance the vibrancy of this summer dessert, matching its lively and vibrant atmosphere. When working with hard light, it's essential to leave ample space between your subjects to allow shadows to form naturally. Additionally, consider the angle of the sunlight as lower angles such as in the afternoon can result in longer shadows. By understanding how to manipulate hard light effectively, you can create compelling and dynamic photographs that captivate your audience. Opposite to hard light is soft light. Soft light offers a gentle and soothing illumination, creating a serene atmosphere in your photos. Unlike hard light, soft light produces subtle transitions between highlights and shadows, resulting in a smoother and more even appearance. In food photography, soft light can enhance the appearance of dishes by delicately wrapping around the subject and smoothing out any uneven surfaces. This softening effect adds a flattering and appetizing quality to the image, enticing viewers with its inviting allure. Achieving soft light is relatively straightforward. If you're using artificial lighting, you can add a soft box or any type of diffuser to diffuse the light source, creating a soft and diffused illumination. Alternatively, if you prefer natural light, shooting on an overcast day can provide a naturally soft and diffused light. Additionally, you can soften harsh sunlight streaming through a window by placing a white sheer curtain or a blanket to diffuse the light, resulting in a soft and flattering illumination for your subjects. By harnessing the gentle qualities of soft light, you can create photos with a sense of tranquility and elegance, elevating the visual appeal of your subjects and captivating your audience with their alluring charm. Next to light quality is light direction. Whether you're working with a natural sunlight or artificial lighting, understanding and manipulating light direction allows you to create compelling and dynamic images. If you're using natural light from the sun, don't fall into the trap of photographing on autopilot with the same lighting setup every time. Instead, seize the opportunity to experiment and vary your lighting setup to achieve different effects. Simple adjustments such as changing your position or the angle of the light source can dramatically alter the look and feel of your photos. For example, front lighting illuminates the subject directly from the front, creating evenly lit images with minimal shadows. This approach is ideal for showcasing details and textures without harsh shadows, making it well-suited for certain types of food photography. 
On the other hand, side lighting introduces depth and dimension to your photos by casting shadows across the subject. This technique adds visual interest and can highlight textures and shapes, particularly in subjects with intricate details. Meanwhile, backlighting involves positioning the light source behind the subject, creating a dramatic silhouette effect or adding a halo-like glow around the edges. Backlighting can be used to evoke mood and atmosphere, lending a sense of warmth and ambience to your photos. By experimenting with different light directions, front, side, and backlighting, you can unlock the full creative potential of your photography and enhance the visual impact of your images. Each lighting setup offers unique strength and can be tailored to complement different types of subjects, allowing you to capture captivating photos that resonate with your viewers. Last but not the least is light color. You heard that right. Light, even natural light from the sun, has different colors. Have you ever walked into a room early in the morning or late in the afternoon on a sunny day and noticed how the ambience changes? In the afternoon, sunlight may cast warm golden tones, giving the room a cozy feel. On the other hand, in the morning or on overcast days, the light may appear cooler, resulting in bluish or grayish hues. Even artificial lighting at night can impart a different color to the surroundings. This variation in light color is attributed to the concept of color temperature measured in Kelvin. Different light sources emit light with distinct color temperatures, ranging from warm tones to cool tones. For example, candlelight or tungsten bulbs typically produce warm orange tones, while fluorescent or LED lights tend to emit cooler bluish hues. Understanding the color temperature of light is super important because it influences the mood and atmosphere of the image. Warm light can evoke feelings of coziness and intimacy, ideal for capturing intimate or indoor scenes. On the other hand, cool light can convey a sense of calmness or serenity. Additionally, mastering the interplay of light color can enhance your creative expression. You can do this by intentionally selecting light sources with specific color temperatures, manipulating white balance settings in your camera, or editing apps to infuse your photos with a distinct aesthetic and convey your desired mood or narrative. In summary, paying attention to light color and its temperature can allow you to harness its transformative power, creating images that resonate with viewers on an emotional level and elevate the visual storytelling experience. So you see, expensive lighting equipment is not the secret. It's harnessing the potential of your light source by understanding its properties. The next time you shoot your food or your product, pay more attention to your lighting. Might be natural light from the sun or a simple artificial lighting setup. Moving things around, changing your position, doing a bit of editing, or simply adding a sheer curtain to diffuse your light can make a huge difference difference. And that's a wrap. Mastering the art of manipulating light through understanding its properties is the secret and your ultimate tool for capturing breathtaking food and product photos. It doesn't matter what camera you have, what truly matters is grasping the basics of photography, especially lighting. Investing time in comprehending light and how it shapes your images is the most significant step you can take to enhance your photography skills. If you're eager to delve deeper, I've got Skillshare classes that offer in-depth insights into lighting for both food and product photography. Whether you prefer natural or artificial lighting, there's something here for you to explore. Hang on a second, Perky Rose has something to say. By joining Skillshare, you gain access to not only my classes, but also over 40,000 courses from talented creators worldwide. Plus, the first 100 signups using the link in the description below can enjoy one month free. That sounds exciting, Perky Rose. Thank you. And going back, if you have any questions or ideas for future videos, feel free to leave a comment below. If you enjoy the topic of lighting, then you might want to check out this other video I made where I revealed my favorite lighting setup. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more content. Hope to see you in my other videos.